Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf here at Second Swing at Minnetonka in the tour van, joined by Jake Montgomery, fitting manager at our Minneapolis store for a review of two new TaylorMade irons here at the kind of the second half of 2024 in the their sort of P series irons. Mm -hmm. So the new P770 is in my hand and the new P7CB, which has not been a, I guess, name of an iron from no, TaylorMade yeah. before. So that's mm -hmm. a brand new, uh, I guess, distinct model in the series. So. Jake, uh, the TaylorMade irons in the P-Series have been awesome for kind of the better players out there, right? For I sure. think P790 is obviously the maybe the most popular because a lot more golfers might be, maybe can sort of fit into it. Yep. Uh, but P7, you know, the MB, the muscle back. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the P770s, uh, which have been super popular the last few years. And now P7CB, new one. What do you see from that first impressions? Yeah, so first thing I see with this, it's kind of replacing the MC. Yep. Um, it looks just a little bit bigger, slightly more forgiving, a little more meat on its bones, I would say. Um, this back edge here looks a little bit yeah. thicker. There's a little more material on the top line there, which I think is just a little more inviting to the eye. Some people that have tried the MC have told me they like the feel of it. It just looks a little more intimidating than they like. I think they've definitely addressed that here. Um, this went through a rigorous forging process. There was 2,000 tons of pressure yeah. that were put on this 1025 steel to make it feel really as pure as possible. Yeah. Um, there's tungsten weighting here to add a little bit of forgiveness. The loft on this is at 33 degrees, so a little stronger than in years yeah. past. Um, but I think we'll still see plenty of height, plenty of spin out of this iron. I think it's just giving you a little bit more ball speed on there. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I think there's that they've definitely kind of tweaked what they're doing with their players' cavities. I feel like the P7MC was probably mm -hmm. Out of the ones out there, the most blade-like. Yes. Um, it was, you know, it had the highest loft, I believe. It was like mm -hmm. 35, 34. I think, or 34. Yep. It was up there for sure. And then it had, it was the smallest in terms of its sole, top mm -hmm. line. So they took and did a little bit to provide a little more forgiveness. Um, but I'm curious to see what your feedback on the feel is going to be there. So P770, you know, in, in the same sense as the previous model, it's got similar materials to kind of the yeah. P790. It's basically a little brother of the P790 mm -hmm. where... You know, you have the two-slot speed pocket, speed pocket, excuse me, on the sole here, the speed foam air, things like that. But it's that look is much more refined. Yes. You know, the top line's a little smaller. I really like how they cleaned up the backside here with kind of one nice little mm -hmm. stripe here with P770 there. Um, and so you're going to get a lot of distance and forgiveness out of this thing for kind of an iron that is still in this sort of, uh, I guess, player's category. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think what they also do, too, is they have a progressive center gravity design. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your four iron, your five iron, a lot more forgiveness there with kind of where the center of gravity is a little yep. bit lower and deeper versus you know your eight iron nine iron pitching wedge mm -hmm. a little bit higher and forward uh to provide a little more control 100 percent. so uh some great great technology in these irons TaylorMade hasn't let anybody down as far as that's concerned but i'm no. curious on the testing here we've got trackman mm -hmm. we've got jake to hit some shots i think we should do it yeah let's do it You have a tendency to hit that first swing with every club just a little bit thin. I yeah, just to like <laughs> play extended irons. There you go. So, a couple swings in. Uh -huh. P7 CB. Now that you've got a golf ball down there and you're at a yeah. dress, what do you see? And then also, what? how's the feel of the first couple swings there? Uh, I love the look of it. I mean, it looks very workable, I would say. Yeah. I play something similar in my 7-iron. I play a Blueprint S. So the shape of this, the loft, the look, I mean, it's very similar to what I play right now. Uh, Feel-wise, I would say it feels pretty soft coming off the face. I mean, definitely has a very forged feel to it. Okay. There we go. I want to hit better. There's a solid strike. Ball has some ball speed. I okay. pulled it. That's going to do part of that. That was probably the most centered strike I've had. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice high mini cut there. Mm -hmm. Those numbers, launch and spin, it's pretty much exactly what I look for in a seven iron. Yeah. Um, I tend to launch the ball a little bit higher, so 18 I'm happy with, and then just below 6,000. Okay. If the landing will right under 50, I'm pretty happy there. Another solid strike. Uh -huh. There you Ooh, go. Those are, those are your numbers again. Yep. Right where I want it. Just under 6,000, 18 degrees launch. 110 feet in the air. All right, so we've got five swings up there. Let's break those down. And we'll just show us some dispersion map here. So mm -hmm. um, pretty good stuff so far, right? Yep. 
what, uh, I guess, in terms of what you've, you know, we, we talked a little bit about the player that we think it's going to be best for. Uh -huh. um, does that, that change, anything change at all as far as your kind of initial impressions? I wouldn't say so. I mean, I definitely noticed a little less forgiveness on some shots, but with that less forgiveness comes more consistency. When you hit this well, you're going to see a much more predictable carry distance out of it. Yeah. Um, when you miss hit it, you're going to have a little drop off. That's kind of the sacrifice you pay for feel and workability and that type of thing. But yeah. what you're not going to have is you flush a shot and it goes 25 feet over the green because the ball speed's a little less consistent. So, yeah. I mean, it it is it's delivering what I'd expect it to in terms of its feel. Felt very, very soft. Ball speed is right where I'd expect an iron at this 33 degrees aloft to be. Launch and spin are perfect. Peak height is right where I wanted. I mean, this is really delivering in every category that I look for in an iron. Okay. Yeah. Well, by the way, we should note too, in terms of golf ball, Pro V1X, yep. uh, and the shaft, Dynamic Gold, mid-115 in both. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got, I should say, S300, mid-115. So same shaft, same ball. And now we get to do the P770, which same loft. So yes. this will be a really good test because there is some more, I don't know, distance enhancing properties for sure. in the P770. So uh, we'll see kind of how much those come to fruition here versus the P7CB. Yep, let's do it. Oh, yeah. I got high. Solid high and some spin on that one, too. Mm -hmm. Did you notice, and again, this is one swing in, did you mm -hmm. notice a feel difference? It felt, I don't want to say softer coming up the face. I felt the impact less. Um, oh, it didn't, interesting. Okay. It didn't feel yeah. like when you pure one, like you're hitting a marshmallow. I would say I just overall felt the ball on the face less so than I did with the other one. Okay, interesting. Definitely seeing a higher launch out of this. Yeah, that definitely is launching a little bit higher with a little bit more spin on that, too. Yeah. I mean, you're over 6,000 on both swings. Mm -hmm. I am surprised to see this spinning more thus far. That's a dead pull. That was smoked. Might just be a little bit left. Yeah. That one was pretty good. Maybe mm -hmm. a slight, slight, slight miss just looking at ball speed. But yeah, it was a little thin. Still I'm out surprised there, right? to see the spin on this. Yeah, because even your the last one you kind of pulled, and it still is in the mid five thousands, yeah. right? And I mean, I've hit P seven seventy in the bay in the past, and definitely saw a little lower spin numbers out of it. Okay. Um, I would also say, compared to years past, the look of this all the way around is just way cleaner. Interesting. Okay. I, it looks very very square to dress. I like the way that the hosel kind of flows so is, into is the it face. Sm is it? smaller than the previous P770s? It looks it more, more condensed for sure. Okay. It feels like they made the P7CB and the 770, like they're bringing the differences closer together. Oh, folks, he may have done it. Oh. Uh, Just yeah, a little bit left. Ton of height out of this. Yeah, this thing is launching so high with yeah. like plenty of spin, so. All right, here's our numbers. I'll bring up the dispersion as well as we can kind of talk about them. You got it. The dispersion pattern is pretty similar across yeah. the board here, right? Um, we've got that kind of, you know, I think it's it's worth noting that, you know, you, you kind of get, as one does, you mm -hmm. mentioned in a, in a different video that we filmed of how your pull shots tend to go like way deep left. That's yeah. kind of how pull shots happen and versus, and then when you mm -hmm. miss right, typically you also miss short because that face is maybe more like open and there's yes. more loft being shown to the golf ball. 100%. Um, relatively consistent here, I think, with both of these, though, in that sense. Yeah. Now, as we look up at the numbers here, some couple things interesting, right? <laughs> We've got our spin is actually pretty close together. Mm -hmm. We had a couple that were over well over 6,000, which is interesting. Yes. A little more efficient with P770, not super surprising there. Mm -hmm. Um, but the height is really the big difference that I see that's a big worth noting is yep. so much more higher, both mm -hmm. in you know, steeper landing angle, height, launch, also incredibly higher with P770. Yeah, the launch is what jumps out to me right away. This 770 is going to have a little lower center of gravity than the, MS, yeah. or than the CB will, which is just going to help invite that little higher ball flight. This iron is definitely more suited for someone if they're looking to get a little more peak height. I play something similar than the combination of these two irons, where I would play the 770 equivalent in my four and five iron, and then I'd play the oh, CB sure. equivalent in my six down to pitch. 
all based on the flight windows that I want to see is I generally don't launch my four and five iron super high. So I go to something like this and that iron and then something a little bit right. lower launching the rest of the way down. So that's definitely something you could do with these, especially with them having a very similar loft structure. You can see distance wise, they were pretty close together. Yeah. Um, but then you're just able to control ball flight a lot easier. Yeah. I mean, that was, yeah. Cause again, we talked about the spin, these first couple swings here that were both over 6,000. Yep. <clears throat> Another one at 62, right? Mm -hmm. And so these other, I mean, the seven CB was also in the high 5,000s to 6,000s every time as well. But yes. So in a sense, you put a really good comparison here because the dispersion pattern is pretty similar, right? You had a couple poles with each, you know, you had a couple solid, really solid straight ones as well. Yep. Um, so it kind of gave us a good indication of, okay, well, what to the, what does the, the build of the club do then? Cause you had pretty similar strikes and, and swings with each club. Mm -hmm. I think the big difference that we can really take from this is that launch. Yes. Is that height and just mm -hmm. how much higher the ball was, was traveling with the P770. 100%. Um, really good stuff though here. I mean, Two great irons, clearly. Yes. Um, they're going to do their job that they tell us. Mm -hmm. um, so great swinging, Jake. And uh, I think now we can do the final thoughts and wrap things up. Let's do it. All right, so Jake, testing complete there. Mm -hmm. TaylorMade P7CB and TaylorMade P770 here, the 2024 models. Yes. Um, again, really good testing here. Uh, we have some pretty strong conclusions to draw from this, mm -hmm. um, but we got to first kind of dive into these and talk about the golfers that will best benefit from them. So yep. we'll start, since we hit the P7CB first, we'll start with that one. Um, replacing P7MC in the line. Um, what did you think about this one? And maybe kind of explain the, the golfers that you will, I guess you predict you'll be fitting most in the bay. Yeah, P7CB performed pretty closely how to expect it to, as I play in iron very similar. Spin, launch, ball speed was in a pretty good spot. Ball speed has definitely jumped a good amount from the last iteration of that club. Oh, really? Okay. Um, in the past, there was a pretty large gap between 770 and the MC at the time. That gap was closed quite a bit. I mean, we only saw about two miles per hour there. I would say the player that's looking for this iron that'd be fitted into that iron is someone that generally gets the ball up pretty well on their own. Fairly decent ball striker. They're not hitting way out on the heel of the toe yeah. too frequently where they're really just looking for more consistent distances and spin rates. When hit out of the middle, that's kind of where I'd put that player. Right, and also probably the player too. That's you know if they want to hit a draw or a fade into the green, they 100%. Can do that. They're going yes. to be able to shape that ball a little bit more with this club. Yep. Um, now the P770. Mm -hmm. This is where we saw some things change a little bit with the numbers. Not necessarily yes. the distance or even the spin, but mm -hmm. a lot more to do with the trajectory. So a lot higher ball flight there. So talk to me about the player that uh, would be, I guess, the best match for the P770. Yeah. So from what we saw in our testing here, if you're looking for peak height and land angle, this is a great place to go. It was launching for two degrees higher than that CB yeah. at the same loft, which is really what kind of shines in these clubs here. Center mm -hmm. gravity on this is just a lot lower, which is initially getting that ball further up in the air, giving you more peak height, land angle, and a little bit more spin to just give you a bit more control on that descent. Yeah, I think there's a certain, uh, I guess, demographic of golfers that they still want a smaller type iron to yep. look at, but they still need a little mm -hmm. bit of help getting the ball high enough into the air. And that's where I think the P770 is going to be a huge benefit. So. Yep. Um, Two great irons and added to the P series here for Taylor made in 2024, P7CB, P770. Uh, if you're interested in either one, we saw some great performance here today. Make sure you schedule a fitting, get with one of our fitters such as Jake here in the fitting bay for some new irons to add to your bag. You'll hit more greens, you'll shoot better scores.